What happens when darkness itself invades Earth? Today, we dive into one of the most intense and action-packed Marvel storylines of all time, The King in Black. Get ready for a story of gods, heroes, and a battle for survival that shakes the entire Marvel Universe to its core. Our story begins with the ancient god of darkness, Null. He's the creator of the symbiotes. Yeah, you heard that right. This guy is the origin behind Venom and every other symbiote in the Marvel Universe. Null has been locked away in deep space for eons, but now, he's awake. And he's on a mission to plunge the entire universe into eternal darkness. Null doesn't waste time. He launches a full-on invasion of Earth, bringing an army of symbiote dragons. The skies turn black, cities fall, and even the world's mightiest heroes like the Avengers and X-Men are struggling to survive. And it's not just Earth. Null spreads his darkness across entire galaxies. His goal? Total domination. And let me tell you, Null is on a whole new level of power. Of course, one of the key players in this fight is none other than Eddie Brock, aka Venom. Null considers Eddie and his symbiote as one of his greatest creations, but Eddie's not bowing down. He teams up with Earth's heroes to push back, but it's an uphill battle. But here's where things get wild. Null overpowers Venom, kills Eddie Brock, and takes over his son, Dylan Brock. Dylan is special. He's got the power to resist Null's influence, making him a key to defeating the God of Darkness. And just when you think it can't get worse, Null captures heroes like Thor and even the Sentry. You know, the guy with the power of a thousand exploding suns. Yeah, Null rips him in half like it's nothing. Things are looking hopeless. The Avengers, X-Men, Fantastic Four, everyone's fighting, but Null is just too powerful. Even Captain America and Iron Man are consumed by Null's darkness. It's a total nightmare, but in the darkest hour, hope arrives. Silver Surfer, yes, the cosmic hero, returns, bringing with him the ultimate weapon, the Enigma Force, also known as the God of Light. This force is the exact opposite of Null's darkness and could be the key to saving everything. But here's the epic twist. The Enigma Force chooses Eddie Brock to wield its power. Yup, Venom goes from anti-hero to the God of Light. Supercharged with this power, Eddie returns from the dead and takes the fight straight to Null. And this is where we get the ultimate showdown. Venom, now superpowered, goes head-to-head -head with Null. He wields Thor's hammer Mjolnir and the Silver Surfer's board, combining their power to deliver the final blow. Eddie Brock straight up obliterates Null, ending his reign of terror once and for all. With Null defeated, the symbiotes are freed from his control and Earth is saved. But the Marvel Universe is forever changed. Venom is now the God of Light, and Dylan Brock, Eddie's son, becomes one of the most powerful figures in the Marvel Universe, with the potential to shape the future. So there you have it. The King in Black Event. A story of cosmic gods, unimaginable power, and the ultimate victory of light over darkness. What do you think? Will Venom's new power play a bigger role in future Marvel stories? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.